I have a little bit of bloating, but it's not too bad. Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I know some of you guys have been waiting for this one for a while. I've been waiting to do this one for a little while too, but today I'm finally going to give you guys my unbiased review of the Seed Daily Symbiotic. This is the DS01. It's a probiotic and a prebiotic. I'm sure you guys have been seeing this all over social media. There are so many influencers out there who are partnered with Seed, who are very, very educated on Seed and the science behind it and everything like that. So if you guys want to get really in depth and really technical into Seed, I would actually suggest checking out their videos for the technical information because I know for influencers who partner with Seed, they have to go through something called Seed University where they actually get really, really educated on the product and the science behind it and everything but I am not affiliated with seed in any way I purchased this with my own money and I did my own research on them so I may not be as in-depth as them but I am gonna give you a very very unbiased honest review on seed my experience with it what changes I may have noticed and whether or not I think it's really worth it because this is a little bit pricier as far as prebiotics go it's about 50 bucks per month but it does refill automatically so they constantly keep you stocked up which we will dive into a little bit more in this video but I just wanted to give you guys my take on seed because as I said I know that most influencers out there who are talking about seed are affiliated with them in some way so I wanted to put my completely unsponsored unbiased take out there for anybody who is very curious about this particular product if you are new to my channel I just want to welcome you really quick I create content on fashion beauty and lifestyle if you are interested in my videos I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button right over here and hit the notification bell so you get notified of any time I have a new video but let's just dive into a little background on seed and what it treats I do have some notes here that I want to go over with you guys so basically gut health is incredibly trendy right now I feel like for me the reason why I kind of wanted to get into it and why I wanted to look into prebiotics and stuff was because I felt like it was just like the missing link Link between like fitness and nutrition and your overall health so after reading through different articles researching people's different opinions on it I decided hey I think I really do want to try to get my gut health under control as you guys know if you've been around for a while I am on a little bit of a like fitness slash health journey so I just felt like this was a little missing piece to the puzzle to really get my metabolism and my digestive system under control some of the things that I personally experience luckily I am incredibly regular like to the point where I have like an hour time window I know between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. I should be near a bathroom basically so for me that wasn't one of my issues but something that I struggle with a lot is things like heartburn I have a hard time digesting things sometimes especially as I was getting to load up more protein into my diet I knew that I always had some issues with digesting protein smoothies and stuff I constantly get what I like to lovingly call my protein belly where my midsection just gets distended it's really really huge sometimes it's painful and I feel like I'm not gonna be able to eat again for like a whole other day so I just want to get those kinds of things under control which is where taking a pro or prebiotic comes in and also in some cases it can help with your mood and your energy so basically what a prebiotic does is it treats your microbiome basically we're made up of trillions of microorganisms and that bacteria and its components and their surroundings are your microbiome which again is what we are treating here the majority of that bacteria tends to live in your gut which is why a lot of people tend to notice that they have digestive issues if your microbiome gets thrown off fun fact apparently Part of your microbiome is inherited through your mother. I didn't know that. So that was actually kind of a cool fact. I never thought of the fact that you could inherit your microbiome, but basically the ones in your gut are there to maintain your gut barrier integrity, which basically means they're gonna help keep out any inhospitable bacteria that might disrupt your digestion. So as far as what a prebiotic is, those are live microorganisms that you ingest through food or a pill. And when administered in adequate amounts, they can confer health benefits on the host. But the catch there is that for that bacteria to be effective, it must be a Live at the time that you consume it and that's where I feel like seed really did the research and backed up their product with science because they created the via cap which is a two-in-one capsule there's an inner and outer capsule on the seed symbiotic pills and it protects the bacteria from heat oxygen moisture light and even stomach acid so beyond helping their product survive the shipping and packaging process and the time it takes to get to you the capsules that they make also will survive through your digestive tract so that it can actually deliver the bacteria to your gut there are a lot of other probiotics out there 
there that don't do this. I think Seed may actually be the only one that does the double capsule. So that means a lot of the times with those other prebiotics, the bacteria will actually die before it can make it to your gut, which renders it pretty much ineffective. So I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see it here. I mean, I can see it in the light. There is a capsule inside of this capsule. I'm trying to get to hit the light just right so that you guys can see. I think you can see it there. It's like right here in that center, that like little lighter portion, that is the inner capsule. So by doing that, the claim is that Seeds Probiotic is actually able to make it to your gut so that it can more effectively treat and repair your microbiome. But some of the benefits from taking a probiotic and especially one that is very effective are gonna be better gut barrier integrity, which we talked about a little bit earlier, how it helps to keep out the inhospitable bacteria. Your neurotransmitters are also gonna benefit from this, sending the signals from your gut to your brain and to the rest of your body so that you can hopefully be more regular and it's also going to have an effect on your metabolic and immune health by delivering short fatty chain acids which will benefit your metabolic and gut health so just so you guys know that is all from me taking notes from the literature on their website i apologize if i might have misconstrued any of it but you guys are more than welcome to log on to their website again if you want more of a technical background or if you want to digest and interpret that information yourself i highly suggest checking out the articles on their website because they do a really really great in-depth job of explaining exactly what their product does they also go through through all of the different strains in their daily symbiotic. So if you are a science nerd and you really, really want to get into it, I highly suggest it. It's a very, very transparent website. But at this point, I have been taking seed for a little bit over a month. So I'm actually going to turn the clock back to when I first got seed. And I actually filmed a bunch of clips throughout the month as far as my initial unboxing of the seed daily symbiotic, everything that comes with it the refills, and also I was able to capture some actual benefits that I experienced while taking this within the first month. All right guys, so I just got in my first seed order today. Let's do a little unboxing. Comes in obviously the screen box that matches their branding and that says seed.com on the side so that you know where it's from. But here is what's inside. So the first thing in here are the capsules in the big jar. This is like your regular jar for everyday use. It's this green glass jar. It also comes with the little travel jar. I think it says that you can fit like up to seven in here or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. So it says just as with any new diet product or change, you may experience a temporary acclimation period, some gastrointestinal discomfort, abdominal tightness, mild nausea. Ooh. I'm susceptible to nausea, so that's a little scary. Or changes in your stool, this is normal. In fact, an immediate physiological reaction is a sign that our probiotics are viable and attuning to your system. Any discomfort should subside within the first one to two weeks. And then it has some nutritional supplemental facts. So I am supposed to take one capsule daily for the first three days. And then on day four or wherever you're ready, you're supposed to increase to the full two dose of capsules at once daily, ideally on an empty stomach. So do you take this first thing in the morning? This seems like a first thing in the morning thing then, at least for me. So this is a 24 strain probiotic blend and then it lists all the probiotics on the back so you can find out what you're taking and research it if you want to. And these do not need to be refrigerated in case you were wondering. So in case you wanted, I guess the technical name, these are the DS01 Daily Symbiotic prebiotic supplements. There's 60 capsules, which is technically a 30 day supply since you're supposed to take two at a time. I just had breakfast a few hours ago, so I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna take this today because I won't have an empty stomach. I guess it kind of depends on what my day looks like. If I feel like my stomach is empty enough this afternoon before I've had any lunch or anything like that, I'll go ahead and take it. But if not, I might start this tomorrow morning. Oh wow, these are big. So here's what the capsules look like inside. So they are these green little capsules. And yeah, basically take two daily. I really do love the packaging on here. It kind of looks luxe, which I'm super into. And then the little travel one. So I guess I'll just check in with you guys a little bit later or tomorrow morning whenever I decide to go ahead and take my first one. And we will see how these do for me over the next month. So it's the next day. I decided to go ahead and wait till the morning to take these just to make sure that I was definitely taking it on a fully empty stomach. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my first one. As I noted before, just for the first three days, they say to only take one. So we'll start there. And I'll let you guys know later today if I'm feeling like, any weird effects with it like any nausea or upset stomach or any of the other symptoms that they mentioned but i have my gallon water bottle here so 
Mm. It's a little bit of a big pill. So if you're not used to swallowing bigger pills, just know you're definitely gonna feel this one go down your throat. But there we go. I will check in with you guys a little bit later today. So quick update, it's a couple of hours since I took it. I haven't eaten anything. I've just been drinking a little water and I feel fine, no nausea. So it looks like my stomach has acclimated to seed. So far, so good. So I've been taking seed for about five or seven days at this point. I think it's just like five days. And I overdid it. I ate way too much protein right now. I'm not kidding. I put extra ground turkey in my salad and I just, I feel so overly stuffed. Like at this point, my stomach would usually be so distended and so, so freaking bloated. Like I would look like I legit have a food baby and I'm shocked. I am actually not as bloated in my stomach as I usually am. I'm not kidding. My stomach would be out to here with the way that I'm feeling right now, that's typically where it would be. But I have a little bit of bloating, but it's not too bad. I'm I'm so shook. And I'm not in as much discomfort as I usually am whenever something like this happens. So I think that that's definitely an effect from seed with my gut healing. So I'll keep you guys updated on how that keeps going. But as of right now, I am so pleasantly surprised and happy. So it's officially time for me to refill and I got my refill in actually about a week ago. So they actually send it a little bit early, although it could also be because since I was just on my first round for the first three days, I was only taking one pill. So I have a few pills left over, but I think that that overlaps really nicely. So here's what the refill looks like. It says, we got your back, like bacteria, you know, gut bacteria. It's a cute little pun, but inside here they have a ton of padding to protect your pills and then here is what the little packet looks like it's the refill packet they still put all of the information on the back just in case i guess you want a little refresher so you just open up the top and just pour it all in and now I've been refilled. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick peek at what the refill pack looked like as well. Okay, it's been over a month since I have been taking these pills and I just had my smoothie. You guys have seen my smoothie belly go down a lot. And here is where smoothie belly is today. I literally just finished my last sip maybe a minute or two ago. And as you guys can see, like there's still a little bit of bloating, but definitely nowhere near where it used to be so i definitely feel like these pills have helped with my digestion for things that were harder for me to digest like my protein smoothies so overall i actually do recommend seed i know that it is a little bit on the pricier side at 50 bucks per month but if you are really serious about your gut health and wanting to help repair it as part of your health or fitness journey i don't think that this is like a fix all kind of a product but this does definitely help to support a much healthier digestive system i will say my favorite thing about seed that i've experienced personally is less bloat i've noticed that i've had a lot less issues with digesting most foods that used to bother me i mean you guys saw the evidence specifically with my smoothie belly that was the thing that i documented the most but there are definitely other things that i tend to have some issues digesting not just bloat wise but also heartburn wise when it comes to any foods that are too greasy or if i mix sugar with certain types of foods i tend to get really really bad heartburn in addition to a distended stomach and bloating and since taking this i haven't experienced that at all which is something that I'm really really happy with because for me sometimes that heartburn and that distended stomach would get so bad that it's actually sent me to the hospital a couple times just to get some kind of relief like they have to coat my esophagus with some chalky substance and stuff to get the heartburn to stop and everything so I think that this has definitely really really helped to calm that down I've definitely eaten a bunch of combinations of foods that normally might send me into something like that but it definitely hasn't happened even once since I started taking seeds so I'm definitely very very grateful for that obviously as far as regularity goes I can't really comment on that because as I've said before I am incredibly regular naturally which I will say I'm blessed with I know that a lot of people are not but I have heard a lot of people say that this helps a ton with regularity and then I'm sure some people are curious about how I felt about this in terms of my metabolic health that one is a little bit tricky to determine because again if you've been around you know that I have been doing a lot of work on my metabolism like a lot of work I reverse dieted I ate at maintenance for a while and right now I'm in a cut so I feel like 
the reverse dieting and all of that definitely was the big push to repairing my metabolism. It is working correctly now and it is responding to my cut incredibly well. So I wouldn't 100% attribute my repaired metabolic health to this, but I will say I do think that this definitely supported that. Do I think that reverse dieting alone would have given me great results? Yes, I do. But at the same time, I think that this definitely played a part and really helped to support repairing my metabolism from a holistic perspective. But anyways, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope I answered all of your guys' questions on seed, but if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in a comment below and I will do my best to answer them. Or if I don't have an answer, I will try to point you towards resources where you can find those answers. But anyways, I love you guys. I gotta get going. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely check out Seed. Again, I'm not sponsored, but I do definitely feel like this is worth the money and the hype, and it's worth at least doing some research for yourself on. But I'm gonna get going. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.